This video was sponsored by Curve, a cool new service that connects all your payment cards into just one single smart card and an even smarter app. When these guys originally contacted me, their service really caught my eye because I, probably like many of you, have got too many cards in my wallet. But with Curve, all of these can be left at home. Now I've connected them all into my one individual Curve card. You can add most Visa and MasterCard debit or credit cards to Curve and it offers all the usual contactless chip and pin and mag strip features along with real-time alerts from all your connected accounts so you can easily keep track of your spending. You can even earn cash back from your choice of over 100 well-known retailers including Amazon, Deliveroo, Starbucks, TFL and Uber or you can use your card at petrol stations and get 1% cash back on your fuel. Another thing you're going to like is something called their time travel feature. Say you've used the wrong card to pay for a recent car mod, your lunch or even a holiday you can literally go back in time in the app and just switch the card you originally used and they fix it all for you. You also save money when spending abroad thanks to Curve having some of the best foreign exchange rates around. Just use your Curve card when making payment to avoid your bank's foreign exchange fees and you can save up to 7% on your transactions. Curve is to banking what Netflix is to TV and Spotify is to music. It just brings everything together and simplifies how you pay for stuff using one single smart card for all your accounts. Click the link in the description to get your free Curve card and if you do it now, you'll also receive £5 free with your first spend. Thanks for watching. How are we doing, Will? Good, thank you. Mate, I'm doing very well. Nice to see you. Thank you for the invite, man. Thank you for driving down, mate. Been no, a drive so, I am sorry I didn't get you your 10,000 followers. No, it's all right, mate. It's all right. Yeah. Any helps. Yeah, Any, yeah. I'm more than, more than happy for a few more. It uh, helps with my racing sponsorship and, you know, just gets me out there, which is amazing. Thank you. So we've got a Civic over here. Is this what you race? EP3 yep. Type R? Yeah, the guys built that. That was a road car. They built it from scratch at Quarter Miller. Beautiful car, fast car. We've had some pretty good results with it. We're off for a new challenge this year. Um, over, we're off to a different car. I'm not going to say what that is actually because mm -hmm. I can't really say that at the moment. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah, we're having a new challenge, which I'm looking forward to. And yeah, thank you very much again for all the followers. It's no, been great. No. Uh, they they do well part with the sponsorships. You know, people just gives a bit back, and it's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. That is one serious car as well. That's not like guys. It may look normal from there, but we'll show you it in a sec. But, it's beast. Yeah. Um, so obviously we've. Uh, come down to film this 812 super 812, fast. 812 super fast. Uh, yeah. I recently went out in a TDF. Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of like the, what is it, the replacement for the Berlinetta, the F12? Yeah, yeah, it's the new version of that. That TDF was the rare version of the F12 or the, the race version, whatever mm -hmm. you call it. This is a new version. Yeah. A little bit more of a tweaked engine, a bit more power. Like we said about the gearbox, uh, the 30% faster yeah. up and 40% faster yeah. downshifts. Mm -hmm. It's got the rear wheel steer. Um, Animal, yeah. Brakes. A little bit, yeah. We've 789 horsepower? Yes, that's oh, it. 789 brake horsepower. <laughs> yeah, and um, you say it's probably one of the most... You respect, you respect this car This a lot, car's got it? my respect, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's earned it. It's earned it. We've had... I don't drive it in the wet anymore. Um, we had a bit of an incident. I didn't crash <laughs> it, but... You know, I had to go and change my underpants, definitely. Yeah, and you've had a lot of supercars. You've had the uh, Performante, you've had the 458, which you just sold. Yeah, four, you eight, had it at the same eight. time as this, didn't you? Yeah, I had, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I had that at the same time. GT3? GT3, yeah. Um, that was a nice car, the Gen 2 one, so that's mm -hmm. the latest one. Um, I've had Performante, a couple of Ferraris, I had a 488 as well. I've had two yeah. 458s. Obviously got this now, and this one's got the respect. This one scares big you, yeah? Time. Um, it's just in the dry, we're okay in the dry, but in the wet, mm. spinning up at fourth gear, top of fourth, won't say how fast, but Flipping out. fast, man, and you've got to be careful in the wet, yeah. so, yeah. And they are really talky. I think it's around 530 foot-pounds of torque. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. instant power, so, yeah, it's going to... And you've got the P... Is it running the P0? It's on I the think, P0s, yeah. Well, yeah. you just told me there was, anyway, yeah, yeah, I don't I think, even know. Yeah. So. It's usually P0s, yeah. yeah. Yeah, rear wheel steer does make it feel a bit lighter because you were saying it's about 17... 17, 70, yeah, 4.4, I four, 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 yeah, yeah, a bit heavy yeah. like Depends me, do you know what I mean? They just go on the diet, but, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. you've actually been on YouTube as well, so you've been on Lee yeah. Lockwood's channel, haven't you? What yeah, did you have at the time, then? Sorry, I talk... Yeah, been with Lee... Yeah, he's a good mate of mine now. He's a nice lad. We've uh, got a true rally thing. That's just another car enthusiast thing that we do together. Mm -hmm. Do quite a bit of him. He's a good so lad. it's like a rally sort of. Yeah, it's just a rally. We, you know, like a bit like the Cannonball Run and stuff, mm -hmm. but more for everybody because 
you know the prices are a tenth of what anyone else is so yeah. it, it just involves everyone the, the Ferraris go in yeah. love to get out meet meet nice people you know there's a lot of nice car people out there so yeah. just get everyone together have a yeah. bit of a good get time get them out in their ordinary cars right like these yeah um... just get the old girl out there <laughs> <laughs> so uh, alright so 789 horsepower so, so you say it's got a 7 speed dual clutch transmission and it's got the rear wheel steer yeah, yeah so yeah. does it feel like really that makes nimble? it feel yeah that makes it feel lighter mm. but yeah, it's still a beast, you know. Yeah, it's a heavy car, man. You just have to give it a bit more right foot, don't you? It gets it around a bit. Mm. And how yeah. would you compare it, like, to some of your other cars, like? Um, it's harder to drive than all the other Ferraris I've had, where the engine is. The engine's a front mid engine, yeah. not a rear mid engine. Which, it's just, it's it's so bespoke that Ferrari only do that. Nobody else does that. So, mm. it's it's an animal. It is snappy. Yeah. Uh, that you don't see many of them on a track day for the purpose that. They're not as trackable. It's more of a GT car, mm. but it's it's a perfect car for what you want it for if you just want to do GTs and stuff. And they're expensive as well, aren't they? A few quid, yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah. what are they, 260 or 70 no options? Mm, this one looks like it's got some... <laughs> it's, had <a> few, <laughs> it's had a few boxes ticked, yeah, yeah. And how long have you owned it? Uh, since about six months now, yeah. Six months, yeah? Yeah, done about 1,500 miles in it. Not not loads, but it's just, it's not a, it's not a winter car in it. I've had it yeah. over the winter, so, yeah. yeah. Should we have a quick little look at the Civic? Yeah, yeah. There's got to be a hundred in this, man. He's <laughs> <laughs> God, it's, like, it's like perfect. Look at the bloody interior. Like, it is so yeah, nice, it's on, man. It's, this is on um, paddles as well, like the Ferrari. It's, on, it's got a Quave gearbox, but it's got um, Geartronics paddle shift. Yeah. So you've still got a clutch to set off, but once yeah. you're rolling, you're up and down on the paddles. You don't use the clutch. It's just pure paddles. Okay. Um, oh, sweet. Yeah, it's running about 450. Um, supercharged. Supercharged. Mm. Yeah, quick car, quick car. Make quick, some, yeah. yeah, spit some nice flames, make some nice bangs. How, how long you owned it? I've had this car about three or four years now. It's been mm -hmm. built like this, like this year has been finished, really. Mm -hmm. um, but sadly, the series has ended that we've been running it in, so we've got a new car to have another crack at a different right, series. Right, so this so. going or? Nah, nah okay. I love this car. This car's okay. the one that's going to stay. Completely gutted out. That's and you say it's side. running a Cybex, yeah? Yeah, it's got 12 different there. maps on it. So if it's raining, you can turn the power up and down. Because right. it's front wheel drive, it's got a CAS diff, which is a plated diff, real aggressive diff. So if it is wet, it can be an animal. So turn the power down, it just helps you. And, and also the throttle, it linears the throttle. Okay. So if you you know, you can mash it a bit more without having to be real gentle. That's what in the Cyvex does, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah, Cyvex yeah. are good. Oh, the one yeah. of those cars, Cyvex are good. What fuel is it running? It's just on V power. V power, yeah. yeah. All right, should we get out then? Yeah, Take let's the go for a place, shall we? Yeah, let's do it, man. <laughs> Mate, it oh. sounds like the engine's at the rear. I know, well, the exhaust is. Yeah, it sounds beautiful, <laughs> isn't it? Right. Man, it's so cosy in here, isn't it? It's not it's like... nice and warm. It's better than anything outside. It's freezing. Oh, guys, it is just... The interior is ridiculous, man. It's... They do put a nice finish on it. It's quite a plain interior. Like, there's not loads of, like consoles or whatever you call you know like cd players and stuff to change here it's all on here you're talking about you want an exhaust as well or, or are you thinking <sighs> yeah, about yeah i think ah oh, let me turn it off start stop okay it should be wrong that is yeah we need an exhaust i think <laughs> power isn't it yeah. there's no waiting for a yeah. turbo there's just no. it just throws itself you get forward. like 5,000 rpm it's just absolutely on it na is just unbelievable it's a v12 though isn't it yeah yeah it's very well insulated isn't it yeah well, this it's hiding the sound car, a bit yeah. but you got to get on the throttle to this is i can make it comfier as well like that bumpy road mode now yeah. just slackens the dampers off a bit but it is built for more for long distance driving really Man, look at the view ahead. It's look nice. at those f***ing wings. <laughs> what yeah. the hell, guys? Like, Point I need something. I need to show them this. This is mental. Uh, 
guys, we have got some insane roads around here, like completely empty. Like, wow, them shifts are quick. Is that in this fastest shift or? Yeah. It almost rides into the next gear, doesn't it? Yeah. Like it's slipping. And you've actually got the brakes from the LaFerrari I was reading up. Yeah, Carbon bro. ceramics, Brembo's, yeah, extreme. Yeah. Biggest ones. Best brakes they do, yeah. Yeah, which you can still heat these brakes up. Um, they they can still get a bit hot on track, you know, you can cook them. Yeah. But they're going to be like yours if they've got a bit hot. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And on the road, perfect for on the road, they are a, they are a good brake. The lines and the curves of this dash, it all like flows into the bonnet, like, it's ridiculous. You've got this beautiful kick plate here. <laughs> that sounds insane, man. <laughs> It's not they, slow, is it? Yeah, I was reading um, some of the reviews. They say this is probably one of the best gearboxes ever in any car. Like, yeah, well, they reckon that Porsches about have a good gearbox, don't they? But yeah. just like it is fast, it's that noise you get when you're downshift. You know, I, I I'm just Ferrari through and through. I do love Ferrari. It feels so light on his feet, doesn't it? I think that's the rear wheel steer does help, doesn't it? Man, this just feels like money, man. Guys, carbon all up, man. It's just perfection. Red stitching, black leather dash. We've got the 8 tiles super fast here. And there's no sort of multimedia center, no, is no, there? that's what I was saying there. Right, yeah, it is quite basic. You, you get that button and that's it. Yeah. If, I spec, if this was a spec screen, then you can change your music there. But this well, also hasn't got the screen in, huh? No, it's got okay, nothing there. That so option. That is an option, yeah. Okay. It's all right. It, it keeps it like sleek, but. I think I've looked at the new Roma Ferrari and that's got like a computer thing there, which is cool, but yeah. um, it's a bit annoying when you're like, change the music, do this, do that, and you're trying to drive and everything. You know, yeah. it's nice to have that, but. There's a lot of power in it. Some people are under the belief that with more power, it's easier to drift, but I find with more power, you've got to be you even more yeah, 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 because you're so much, it's such a thin line, isn't it? That you've yeah. got to, if you've only yeah. got three, four hundred brake, you can get on the throttle. You know you it's going to only... The steering rack on this is really, really fast, which does help, but yeah. it's just that fraction too much or not enough, and it's with the power, it just yeah. spits you a bit. Like, we went fairly well around there, didn't we? Yeah, but you yeah. just fl flick it back, and it's not too bad. Well, it's like you you just applied 789 horsepower to the ground. Yeah, yeah. And as soon as you let off, it's still on a bit, you know? Yeah, so, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, and it's the first, actually, uh, Ferrari, I think, with an electronic steering rack, I was reading. It is, yeah. It's still, like, really, really fast. You mm. get a lot of really good feel, feel, like feedback through the steering wheel still. Mm. You know, like, people moan about it, but I don't have a problem with that. I think it's really good. Them gear shifts are just perfect, aren't they? Yeah. I think it's time you have a drive now. No, no, man. Carry on, carry on, man. I'm enjoying it right now. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to give them a long video today. <laughs> Let them enjoy it. <laughs> now was it Rev 2? 8900 off? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's so, got the blue yeah. rev when you're really like on wow. the top end. Yeah. You got the carbon on the steering wheel. <laughs> this cabin just feels it's absolutely beautiful. It is a lot of money, but it's like it's one of them things, it's not an everyday car. I've had a bad day and it's summer go and drive it. Had a bad day and it's summer, or a good day, sorry, and it's summer, yeah. go and drive it. Had a bad day and it's raining, you don't drive it, you just yeah, sit in it, yeah. because it's dangerous in the yeah. 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 Nearly an 800 horsepower GT car, you know, you can cruise along. Insane, man. Uh, it's perfect for high speed stuff, just flying along. So. And saying that, it does a 212 miles per hour, yeah, 2.9 to 60. Jeez, we need to get a window down, don't we? To feel that yeah. it's an experience that most cars can't provide. Definitely. You're paying for an experience. That's it, that is it. It's all about experiences and just, you know, theatre. It's just, yeah, NA power is, 
It's not just NA, it's the fact it's a V12, isn't it? 488, that's what it missed. It missed, it, don't get me wrong, very, very, very fast car, but it missed that bit of the noise, the theatre, like the downshift. Sometimes you get like pops and, you know, yeah. it feels like it's really screaming, whereas the yeah. 488 didn't really feel like that. Mm. It's just, it is very involving and it's, it's just an animal. That rear wheel drive is, you've got to be careful with it, definitely. I'm a bad passenger. No, no, don't worry. <laughs> but we'll put it in, well, I'll, no, what no, I'll do it, I'll, I'll talk to you through the motor if you want again. Yeah, 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 cool. And we'll go through the paddles, like turning the paddles on. Yeah. Because which is just that bottom really, but. Yeah, I'll be very gentle with the throttle as in, yeah. I won't just flatten it. <laughs> like, even when I was on it then, I had to progression it on, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, no, no, like, mate, listen, I, I, I know I'm not driven... Uh, yeah, but you've got, like an, you've, got a four, you've got a 700... Uh, yeah, but I get you've got to be very smooth with the throttle, you don't want to... You, I'm you not, know I'm what you're doing. Stamp it, mate. You've not I'm come not. out of like a... <laughs> no, 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 we'll be like fine, man. We'll be fine, man, trust me. Man like Ricky, yeah? Driving 812 super fast. Come on. What are you saying, Will? I'm saying I hope you're you right. enjoy it, mate, yeah? Don't worry, man. We'll not a nervous easy. passenger, I hope. No, you're not. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. So is this... Um... In between your legs, mate. I won't reach down there, otherwise that'll set rumours <laughs> off, won't it? It's a bit, <laughs> a bit weird, isn't it? You've got to get this it right. It's crazy. I don't even feel like I'm in a car right now. So I'm in, a, I'm in an aeroplane or something. Is this your first time with Ferrari driving? Um. On the channel, I think, yeah. I've driven a 458 on track, yeah, uh, yeah. and I drove a McLaren MP12C back right. to back. Right. And um, I'm a massive flat fan of McLaren, but after driving a 458, my God, how much more soul, like you yeah, said, yeah, way yeah, more character. Definitely. Capability of the McLaren, okay, but. Yeah, they are fast car, the McLarens, yeah. aren't they? So what do I do, man? Like, I don't right. even know where driving is. on the brake. Yeah. Click that panel, uh, paddle, panel, paddle. That's it, mate, right? Right, no handbrake or? No, it'll go off automatically. We'll go down there again. Jeez, whoa, that, that wheel's light. Yeah, good, isn't it? Flipping hell. You sure we're good, yeah? Yeah. Fucking hell. Right, it's in, it's actually in, do you want it in pad, so what, to put it in full manual, there you go. Now okay. you've got it, yeah, that's all you. Oh, mate, don't let you're that happen. You're not overtaken by a Civic, guys. <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> That's not even like a type R or anything. That yeah. is very weird holding this wheel, you know that? Yeah. It is so light, it's unbelievable. Do you like the But mates? it's actually getting heavier, isn't it? Like, yeah, I think yeah. as we're going faster. Do you like the th uh, the thickness of the wheel? Perfect. I got you. It's like me. thin, but kind of wide, isn't it? Yeah. Get Man, this chewable. is like, it's just craziness what I'm seeing with my eyes. All of these angles and shapes and colours. Like that's the new that's the new wheel. They've revised that as well after the um, F12. It's a bit thicker in places, but it just feels that they've really, really took a lot of time to get the wheel right. Mm. The way your hands sit in it just feels perfect. Whereas the other ones were ever so slightly too thin. Man, I like that how it slips into the next gear. Yeah, right. What we need is it doesn't you... just engage. It kind of slips in. That manatino, that little red dial just to your right hand. Um, that was yeah. It. Just flip that one up, that's in race then. So what's this in now? We're in sport, sport which is just every day. <laughs> Man, how exaggerated is that gear shift? Yeah, it's because <laughs> you're in race now, it just it turns up a little dives, bit. dives, doesn't it? Yeah. Man. What do you feel about the steering? Do you feel it's a bit quick? Some people think they're a bit quick. Yeah, it is a little, yeah. yeah. Very, very direct. Yeah. It's so effortless, isn't it? It's just such a good feeling, isn't it? I mentioned it last time, like the R rates, they're so gutless down right. low. Right. But this car here, you can be in any gear and it's pulling off like it's got. I think they've done a good job with the gearing. It always seems to be ready to go, doesn't it? Man, <laughs> those down <downshifts. laughs> <laughs> I was going for the Jesus Man, handle there, I've got nothing to hold on to. Man, how flat is that? <laughs> I think that's... Man, I feel like I'm in a game right now, boy. What, the roads? I think it's that. <laughs> the, rear, the rear wheel steer, I think, is just perfect on this car. Wow. Oh, I can 
one. It literally does feel like four wheel drive almost. Yeah. Flipping hell. <laughs> 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 good, isn't it? It is yeah, good. It's a ridiculous one. Like, every time I get in it, it does make me smile. Yeah. I mean, I just know that we're driving so much money right now, so <laughs> I can't treat it like, you know... It's worth more than the insurance at the moment, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> My God. That just sounds... Do you want the window down a little bit? Just a little bit, yeah. Just hear that. <laughs> That's what I mean. That's oh, okay. all right, there. Go right if you want, mate. What? One thing I've noticed is it doesn't feel like a normal dual clutch. It feels semi-automatic, like almost manual. Yeah, it's... It pulls off like it's got a normal clutch. Yeah, yeah. It's not jumping forward, it's perfect. Like, every increment in the throttle's doing something. People say they are expensive, but they have done a good job of what they've done, aren't they? Mate, this is like... Obviously, I'm not in that supercar gang. Until I'm owning supercars, it's kind of hard to comment, but any kind of supercar just... Yeah. As I say, they provide an experience that you don't get in these highly tuned cars. Now it's the left hand of it. Now, now, like, today's supercars, they all do a great job, but it comes down to personal preference. I think Lamborghinis are an amazing car, but they're a bit of a... Um, some of them seem a bit big. I know this is a big car, but like the SVJ, Amazing car, but it doesn't seem to have the same feel as the SV before it. Right. They kind of seem to have got a little bit softer there, but... Man, you know what? I'm loving these gear shifts and these paddles. Like, what the... Man. It's like, it takes balls to keep it pink, doesn't it? Just in one go. Yeah. You got to, yeah, you, you know what it is, it's like any type of um, bump, you know it's going to spin out, it's yeah. too much power. It just makes it feel like you're going to be like, Man. don't know whether it's going to, you know, kick you I just like ass. how it, like, I mean, it is a seamless power, but I like that interruption with the gear shift. Guys, it's like full concentration right now, it's so sensitive, like, yeah. every part of the steering, like, does something, there's no dead spots whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that up change is unbelievable, isn't it's it? Good, isn't it? Obviously, all of the technology you're losing feel through the car. So the, the the magic of these companies now is to try and bring that old school rawness back, isn't it? It's but gonna, still making it capable, right? Yeah, it's going to be hard because you know the, the way the economy's going, the way the world's going. These engines are, are a dying breed. You know, they can't keep making them. They're not going to keep making them. So they have got a big challenge to get the turbo charging right and get the stuff right. So. It does make you know make me feel even more blessed that we're here now in a V12. Like, how long are these engines going to be out there for? But I don't, you know, the next few years I, I see them all gone. Right, Will, I think I'm going to end the video there. Thank you. Thank you for coming, mate. Thank no, you. No, no, man. Like, I was happy, more than happy, being in the back seat. What an amazing car. I don't know if I'm going to experience something like this again. You got to treat this with respect, man. It's a serious catch. Yeah. Like. yeah and no. this is like 300 plus, right? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, it was, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm driving in the house right now, basically. Um, <laughs> so... Yeah, no, thank you very much. It, you know, I'm just, I just love seeing people enjoy cars just as much as I do. I know, you know, I've followed your channel for a long time. I know you yeah. love your cars. It's all about experience. It's all about all of us together. Have a nice time, you know. Um, like you was going to say about my True Rally and stuff. That's, that's, yeah, um, do you want to plug that, actually? Yeah, yeah please. That's, um, that's just basically like all these other big rallies but for everybody that you know some of us have been on these rallies and they're expensive this is more for anybody to come yeah. that enjoys cars and also thank you everyone that did subscribe um to my not subscribe, instagram follow, yeah. yeah follow my instagram um i've got a new race series that i'm starting and you know it's not cheap and every little bit of sponsorship that i get and you know um outreach that the few extra followers it just helps me out so thank you very much guys yeah yeah i'll leave all of the uh, links in the description yeah, thank you if you did enjoy it please hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'll see you next time thanks for watching bye cheers guys bye <laughs>